Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be explaining example on Laplace transform and region of convergence for exponential signal. So see, equation is find Laplace transform and region of convergence for these two signals. One is e to the power at ut and second is minus of e to the power at u of minus t. So this is how we have two equations for which we are dealing with to calculate Laplace transform and region of convergence. Now, one thing from this given question, it should be very clear to all, like to identify ROC, we need to know, first of all, whether given signal is left-sided signal or right-sided signal. So you can see my previous session, I have explained few examples even how signal is right-sided signal and how signal is left-sided signal. So it will gives you clear understanding like how to identify that. Now, here one can see e to the power at ut. So this signal is varying from z, t is equals to 0 to t is equals to infinite. So as signals where signal varies from signal varies from t is equals to 0 to t is equals to infinite. What it means? This signal is right sided signal. So, signal is right sided signal. Now, if you observe this second signal, so that is minus of e to the power at u of minus t. So, obviously, one can clearly understand this signal starts from 0 and it goes towards minus infinity. So here signal varies from minus infinity to 0. So here signal varies from t is equals to minus infinite to t is equals to 0. So it means signal is left sided signal. So signal is left sided signal. So this is now clear to all like this is what right sided signal and this is left sided signal. Now let us calculate Laplace transform of both. So see if I say this is x of t so Laplace transform of that that will result into x of s. So x of s that is Laplace transform of x of t and the basic formula is integration from minus infinite to infinite x of t e to the power minus s t dt and if I consider this second signal that is y of t then Laplace transform of that will be y of s. So y of s that is Laplace transform of y of t. So that has to be integration from minus infinite to infinite y of t e to the power minus s t dt. Now x of t that is given to us that is e to the power minus e to the power at u of t. So let us place it. And y of t is even given that is minus of e to the power at u of minus t. Now let us calculate this first. So see u of t that varies from t is equals to 0 to infinite. So now this limit that will change is to 0 to infinite e to the power minus s minus a into t dt and if you do this integration so that has to be e to the power minus s minus a t divided by minus of s minus a limit varies from 0 to infinite 
Now if you place upper limit infinity, 1 by infinity is 0, so this term will get 0 and if you place 0, then this term will be 1. So we can say this is what 0 minus 1 divided by minus s minus a and this minus minus will get plus. So this will be now 1 by s minus a. Now similarly, let us calculate this. Over here, you see u of minus t varies from minus infinity to 0. So I can place limit starts from minus infinity to 0 minus of e to the power minus common s minus a t dt. Now if you integrate this, you will be getting minus e to the power minus s minus a t divided by minus of s minus a minus infinity to 0. So this minus minus will get plus. Now when you place t is equals to 0, this term will get 1 and when you place t is equals to minus infinity, this term will get to 0. So we can say this is what 1 by s minus a minus 0. So that is 1 divided by s minus a. So Laplace transform for both of this signal that is same you can see. So here pole is there at s is equals to a as well as for the second case pole is there at s is equals to a. Now let us plot ROC for both of the cases so it will be more clear. So here to plot ROC let us have real and imaginary axis. So this is what real axis, this is imaginary axis as well as for this case I will have to plot it. So this is real axis sigma and this is imaginary axis j omega. Now position of pole that is at same position for both of these cases. So s is equals to a that is what position of pole for both. So we need to draw parallel line to the line of imaginary axis for both of the cases. Now we need to see what is the direct which sided signal is this. So see for first case this signal is right sided signal. So as signal is right sided signal ROC will be in this region and for the second case we can see this signal is left sided signal. So as this signal is left sided signal ROC will be in this range. So we can say for this case ROC for first case ROC real part of S and that has to be greater than A and for second case ROC that has to be real part of S that has to be less than A. So this is how we can identify ROC. Now here I will explain few combinations so it will be giving you little idea in gate examination even there could be direct question like how we can identify ROCs right. So in previous session you can see my examples based on left sided and right sided signal. So I have considered those cases e to the power a t u t. I have considered second case e to the power a t u of minus t e to the power minus a t u of t e to the power minus a t u of minus t and if you calculate Laplace transform then that has to be 1 by s minus a for first two cases and for this two it is 1 by s plus a but one can see 
one can see this is what first signal that is right sided signal so roc that will be real part of s that has to be greater than a this second signal that is left sided signal so roc that is real part of s that has to be less than a now see for this sec this case pole is happening at s is equals to minus a and this is what right sided signal so this should be greater than minus a and here this is left sided signal so region of convergence that should be lower than minus a see that is how this region of convergence that could be directly calculated and in gate examination you will be observing examples are coming based on this tricky things so one should understand those basics and they can simply calculate all examples in gate examination even i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video please give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos which will be solving queries of students and that will be helpful to those people those who are learning from my channel thank you so much